Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use Desloratadine. This video is part of a video series on your skin where we will cover all kinds of skin related problems and drugs. If you're looking for more of these videos, then check out my playlist in the description. Now for those of you I'm meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor and let's get started. The generic name of this medication is Desloratadine, but it's sold under many brand names, among which Arius, Neoclaritine and Claranex. And it's available as a tablet or a drink. Which brings us to the question, how should you use it? If you wanna use the tablets, make sure to swallow them with half a glass of water. If necessary, you can break them or you can chew on them. If you want to use desloratadine as a drink, then use a measuring spoon or a measuring cup to measure the exact amount you need to take each dose. It's also best to take this medication at fixed times, preferably in the morning or in the evening. This will make you less likely to forget a dose. And the duration of treatment depends on many factors, mostly the indication of use and the severity of this indication. Therefore, the duration of use can vary from weeks to years. However, if you're not experiencing any improvements within three days of use, then please contact your doctor as another medication might be more suitable for you. Now then, when should you use desloratadine? Desloratadine is an antihistamine and it can be used to treat an allergic reaction like a rhinitis, which is an inflammation, irritation of your nose. Or it can be used to treat hives, which are red, raised, itchy bumps on your skin. Which brings us to what dose should you use? Now let me say this first, always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you and always follow the instructions on the leaflet. I can only provide you with some general guidelines here. So a normal dose for an adult or a child older than 12 years would be five milligrams a day. Now for side effects, desloratadine is very effective, but it can have some side effects. I'm only giving you the most common ones here. And if you're looking for a complete list, ask your doctor or check your leaflet. Commonly, so one to 10% of all patients might experience a headache, a dry mount or fatigue. And very rarely, desloratadine can cause a hypersensitive reaction, a fast heart rate, dizziness, somnolence, nausea, vomiting, and or diarrhea. Which brings us to safety. Desloratadine is safe to combine with any type of food. However, be careful with alcohol, as this might increase the dazing effect of desloratadine. In addition, you should also be careful while driving when you're using desloratadine, as it can cause side effects like a dazing effect, drowsiness, sleepiness, or dizziness. If you're experiencing any of these side effects, then please do not drive. And lastly, desloratadine can have some interactions with other drugs. Therefore, always discuss this with your treating physician and be careful. Which brings us to the safety of desloratadine when you're pregnant or when you're breastfeeding. And there's only good news here. There's a lot of research done with the usage of desloratadine and no harmful effects were found for you or your baby while you're pregnant or breastfeeding. However, just to be sure, always discuss this with your treating physician. Now, this was a quick overview on how to use desloratadine. I hope you know now how to use it, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Furthermore, if you wanna keep learning, then check out the playlist I made in the description. And in addition, I just wanted to let you know that I made a Patreon account. It's for all of you that want to support this cause, want to help How to Medicate grow, and if you want to contribute, please check out the link to my Patreon account in the description. And in this light of my Patreon account, I also want to thank my first investor tier patron, Sebastian. Thank you. Now I'll address me is to thank you for watching and ask you to leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing so you never miss such an awesome video again, which will also help me to reach my new subscriber milestone, 10,000 subscribers. I hope we can hit it this year, so please do your thing. Thank you, and as always, I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Bye-bye.